Good day, everyone. My name is Jason Nicolau, and I am an engagement manager here at Sickage. Today, I would like to present an example of how landed cost is managed for purchased items inside of Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. The landing page for the accountant role presents information designed to monitor your business. Statistical data, charts, and even Power BI are combined to create this command center. The newly designed search tool will provide results after entering just a few characters. Entering a little more, and I will see a segmented list of results that are shortcuts to various areas inside of Business Central. Our first stop will be a purchase order because I need to point out that inside of Business Central, the receiving and invoicing step has been separated since I can receive the items and make them available for sale or consumption by production I don't need to enter an estimated freight charge I can wait until the freight bill and invoice for my vendor catch up before I post anything that will change my inventory costing let's take a look at a purchase order that's already been received and go ahead and add the item charges or freight charges that would go along with this particular purchase order. On my purchase order, I can add the charge item. And for this instance, I'll choose my inbound freight on purchasing. The idea here is to allow different categories so that those different amounts can be tracked and you can understand inside of your organization how much you have spent on inbound freight, outbound freight, based on purchasing or other activities. For this example, let's say that there was one flat charge for the entire PO of $6,000. Adding that amount to the line increases the value of the total purchase order, but I have not allocated those expenses across my components. At this point, I need to assign those item charges. Inside of Business Central, there are several options as far as how you can add those charges. The Suggest Item Charge Assignment function allows us to distribute those equally based on quantity, by dollar amount, by weight, or even by volume. And this is all dependent on how much information that you've already provided Business Central. For this example, we'll use weight for our distribution method. After I allow the engine to assign those charges, we can see how those charges have impacted the value of each line item on our purchase order. In order to see the impact of our landed cost calculation and application to that purchase order line, we need to visit the item card. The item card houses costs associated with the particular item we can see that this particular item has been received at $150.30 for many instances in history. As we scroll down, we do see a spike in that value. If we are curious about what drove that change, simply highlight the line and drill into the value entries associated with that entry. Now I see that in fact we did pay $150.30 for that chair, but we also incurred a $46.95 charge when allocating that freight across each one of those line items. So ultimately, your financials and your profitability will be driven by this new value as you peel off the previous layers of inventory that have been received in previous shipments. Now you can apply landed costs inside of Dynamics 365 Business Central.